Well, I'm just going to tell my story. You know, basically, what turns me on, um, it's all about story, right? If, if you're doing something that's narrative, it has to be very compelling. And then on top of that, I mean, you can say everything's been done before, right? And what's going to make this exceptional and stand out? The first story you tell is your most personal story. So you got to keep on like bouncing ideas with, with people and um, get people in the same sort of like vein as you are. And I, I, I think with that, you know, you can really start to hone your craft, your calling card to what do you want to do, right? There is that liberty of making something that has never been seen before. I don't think I could have just done that feature without having done those shorts or, you know, having gone to other festivals, meet other short filmmakers. But it is a very different time now than when I first started because back then there was no internet. I mean, there was no YouTube. I think now, right, really is the time for anyone with talent to be able to go very far. The sweetest shorts that I've seen also come from the heart. You can feel there is a gem there because in the way they're trying to tell it, that there's some structure to it from the core of the heart. The thing that totally blew me apart, right, was the space zoom. When they showed me, man, we can be the ultimate voyeur, right? It's just amazing, the clarity and, and how far you can zoom in. Um, it's that person across, you know, and, and all these like what ifs or intimate stories that may be. You can have a hundred stories and all that, and then at the end, it's how do we tell that one particular story in a really special way, right? So it's got to be done short and sharp.